Welcome to Total Fit Heads. Serious fitness for not so serious people. Got it. You can't speak to the woman speaking to you when nobody knows but you. He always talks to the lady. Okay, on Zoom, when you start recording, it says, recording in progress. Like that. Very soothing. Yeah. It's a, it's a computer voice. Very soothing computer voice. I wonder if you can disable it in the States where you don't have to disclose that you're recording. You mean legally? Yeah. Are the laws States- different to video recording and telephone record audio recording? Yes. Have we not talked about this? You No. <laughs> It's because, well, okay, so some states, you have to disclose both. Uh More likely, it's that you have to disclose audio, but not video. And that, my guess would be because, you know, in 7-Eleven, they're doing security recording or whatever. But really, it's because politicians can more likely screw themselves by saying something bad than being seen doing a thing. (laughs) And so they're separate. And that's why audio is worse. It's always in California. You got to dispose yeah. both. Hell, if I it's think, up California. Wait, you know, because when we walk into anywhere at any event we're invited to, there's a big old thing with a bunch of writing that you didn't read, and I did, and it says, "By entering this premises, you are agreeing to be photographed, video recorded." Right. I was too busy reading that one sign that said open bar. Yeah, yes. And an arrow. <laughs> now what That's if you call, always in line what, before me? <laughs> what if you're in one state and I'm in another state? Uh geographical state. Oh no. That seems very common. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Especially with these fat cats in Washington flying all over the all over the country. I don't know. And what about when Taylor when what about when Taylor Swift got a phone call from Kanye and then Kanye recorded it and then put it on Do you remember what I'm talking about? Yeah, that's illegal. But was it illegal? Oh, really both, what if what if one of them's not yeah. in California? And is it whoever makes the call or who has it receives? It's whoever hits record has to tell the other person. But also it's <laughs> art so you that can makes do whatever sense. you want. <laughs> that makes a lot more sense. <laughs> Whoever hits record, yeah, I got you. <laughs> if I start recording and you have to disclose to me, it's so it's so sketchy. I mean, I don't know. I, I I see both. It's so shady to record somebody without telling them, but it's also super nice to have people caught on like a hot mic being like, "I don't really support any of the things that I'm." campaigning about or you know talking about or whatever right. then that's i don't know i don't know i don't know i don't know, I don't know. you don't know how you feel about surveillance is what you're saying i i hate surveillance typically but i love when other people get caught <laughs> but not me but yeah, other right? people obviously <laughs> i just was watching an article on about how they're using ai to crack down on crime it almost feels like minority report but not i mean they'll they'll use facial recognition and ai to be like oh you've been going to savora every day at rush hour yeah you probably are stealing something or whatever yeah or maybe you just really like lipstick yeah it's but it's it's that type of they put if if you're in the system too for having done something then they can track your face and make sure you don't do more yeah, it's it's annoying how it probably starts with like a it's like a marketing ploy. We're just trying to figure out how to sell more lipstick. But then if you yeah. like there is a logical path continue down the line where you take the wrong turn and drone robots hit you with a taser and then drag you to a pre crime and you get pre- arrested. Yeah, and you get an AI attorney, an AI prosecutor, defense <laughs> yeah. and jur- judge and jury. And they're like this is boom, guilty. You know, like ding, <laughs> like a like a microwave, ding, <laughs> and you have a conveyor belt to jail. Yeah. <laughs> and the world is safe. Straight to jail, <sighs> and then you get a uh, 
and then your your prison bed has like that shrink wrap you know what i mean you have to like open your own prison bed oh yeah <laughs> that's clean or <laughs> like those toilet seat covers where you rip one off and there's another one underneath <laughs> yes exactly <laughs> Uh, so anyway, that'll be, well, that's not for a while. That's not until at least April of 2023 for sure. Yeah, totally. Man, I've been using a 360 camera and the first time I used one, it was 16 GoPros strapped in a giant circle. I remember that. Yeah. Which is, yeah. And they were like, was, isn't uh, this sick cutting edge? Yeah. I'm like, I don't know. It looks like a bomb. I don't know. Really, <laughs> a huge insane. thing that would fill a, tr- a trunk of a car. To get it around yeah. and put it on a giant, you can't even call it a tripod, these stilts to hold up 16 cameras. Then you have 16 cameras of footage that you need to sew together in, in post-production. Then the computer has to make that calculation over 16 days per frame. And I did all that and I did a 360 video. And now it's this it's the size of my phone. And I remember at that time being like, I can't wait till I'm 80 and I can I can hold this 360 camera in the palm of my hand. And I it's know. here like that. I know. It's that horrifying. was fast. Apparently the rate at which technology is improving is increasing. Oh, the I, what is that? The acceleration, not velocity. Yeah. The yeah, velocity it, is accelerating. Yeah. yeah. Like they So they, it's not two X every number of years anymore it's, it's even getting more. it's a it's a exponential curve uh a really unhealthy really hockey scary. stick yeah <laughs> but it's it's which is fun but also like pretty scary and i think it's i think what they tracked it was i mean they tracked it from like you know the invention of language to the alphabet to the printing pretty technology press, to yeah the internet and then once internet came it was just took off and then you know it's a little freaky but not i'm glad i'm here for it you can imagine being you know 90 right now yeah it's like oh i'm just Just gonna miss (laughs) just gonna miss the singularity just gonna miss downloading just started accelerating yeah it's like it's like leaving facebook before it goes public <laughs> right uh, yeah. leaving a party before the one guy swan dived off the balcony yeah, yeah exactly sure. huh. the one guy's me <laughs> definitely uh, that's Somebody scary. A i mean is that clip. what go ahead is that is that this is that the coolest i mean the phone everyone having a phone slash camera slash access to communicating with everyone on the planet slash access to total human knowledge is pretty cool that one is pretty that was pretty good like i hate when people complain about ugh, phones ugh, they're everywhere i'm like really when's the last time you pulled out your map to figure out how to get somewhere <laughs> you know when's the last time you ink and quilled a letter to your uh you know your estate your, your, I did do that mother. the other day for a video, but okay. You say it's the access to all of human knowledge, which yes, I totally agree with. And how cool that now our collective brain is in my hand, except mm-hmm. it's also our collective stupidity. And when you say that I have access to all the world's knowledge, no, cause it doesn't come to me. I get the wrong stuff. I get bad answers from AI. I get the top hit is some hack instead of an actual way to hang a door, you know, or an ad. Or somebody paid to be or in the that. top. Or, yeah. Somebody trying to steal my attention and money. Which I happily give away. Because oh, technology free. is moving too quickly and I can't, my brain can't handle it. I know. It's bad. There are some days when like, I, I wake up, instantly look at my phone, and then I'm going to bed. And it's like the last thing I'm putting down is just like scrolling right in front of my Even eyeballs. And some I'm like, days. That's this- every day. Well, yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'm like, this can't be healthy in oh. the in the long run. And luckily, I mean, not luckily, but maybe I'm stuck. But my brain, technically, theoretically, has stopped developing. <laughs> you All know, right. like I'm not, ah, man. Right, but the ones that are developing with it, right? If you had a kid right now, I mean, I know I would just not, I would be no screens and I'd be a, insanely the other direction but i think there's something to be said for 
my niece knowing how to navigate an iPad, right? Yeah. Or And if that's the future and we all just grow up doing this, then why is this bad? It, it just is. And this is what it is now. Well, maybe we'll lose personal skills that we... Who needs them? That's You're putting a value judgment on things because you had them. But the ability to don't... focus on something long term, that's a pretty clear skill. Not if you don't need it in the future because AI is this rapid. Oh my god, you're right. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm freaking out. <laughs> Pass the bong. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't because know. it is it is such a shift and if, if the brains now are being raised in this way then it is it's just different yeah it's i don't know it's bad too because it doesn't seem like there's any sort of regulatory it's like all the bad like the the fact that ads take over you know it's this weird ultra money oriented version of this pseudo quasi uto uh, intellectual technology utopia that we're you know what yeah. i mean like it Everything's should free. be yeah it's, you know, it's air quotes free just buy that just watch this ad i have this game yeah, on my give phone us your brain where you, like, you slide around or something and they'll interrupt the level that you're playing with an ad you know and yeah. you uh, li literally you you it's it's like uh it's like pac-man for example, but it's on your it's on my phone, and I. Uh, Thank you so for referencing very... an eighties game because nothing yeah. be from then till now would resonate. <laughs> <laughs> but it's that level of complexity, you know what I mean? And yeah, I mean literally. Now that I'm thinking about it, you play for about ten to fifteen seconds, and then it interrupts you with an ad that lasts five to fifteen seconds. Isn't that nuts? And like you, you yeah. can't even even if you buy the ad free version because I looked it up, all the comments were like, "Still have ads? This is a joke. This is total trash." How did you come across it? If there were an, even people talking about it, how did it get that well known? Because it was a really good game. It's called Paper. Dot Io. It's like, do you remember in um? You ever seen Tron? You know when they have the the Again, motorcycles. 80s reference. Well, there was another Tron. <laughs> Shout out Daft Punk. <laughs> uh, the <laughs> motorcycles, it's a, you're, you're, it's a motorcycle and it has like a tail and the tail is solid. And so you're just yeah. in an ever extending line. And you're, if you, you don't want to hit your line, if you don't want to hit your line and you don't want to hit anybody else's line. So if somebody cuts in front of you and you, you smash into them, you die and your line disappears. And that's how the game works. It's the same. It's essentially the same game. But um, you try to like, if if you close your circle, you have that um, territory, and then your territory expands. And if you get a hundred percent of the circle, then you win the level. But now it's, I mean, it's insane. And I got it for an airplane. I was on an airplane, and so it works okay on airplane mode because then they can't show the ads, and the app just mm -hmm. like short circuits. But then now I just try to play it the other day on airplane mode again, and it was like, sorry, we don't have an internet connection. You can't play the game at all. That's so it's just ooh. wow. It's bad. It's real bad. Even that like even the hacks I thought I knew and now I don't know. Right. It's bad. Well, that's the kind of problem that TikTok has right now because their content that you want to see is 15 seconds. And so how do you run an ad on a 15 second thing? At least on YouTube, you're like, okay, this is 15 minutes. I'll watch this 30 seconds to unlock the 15 minutes. But right. watching 15 seconds to unlock 15 seconds, right? that's rough. It's, and it, it's unacceptable for me. And sometimes the ad would be for the game that I was currently playing. And so then I'd be like, I'm definitely not watching this ad. This is ridiculous. Wow. Yeah. I'm surprised it's they nice. haven't figured that out too. You know, the tracker that knows that you've been on their site and so they show you ads for the thing that you're already warm about right right yeah a company it... can retarget you is what it's called but after you buy the thing it doesn't stop retargeting you i'm like it's in my house i'm looking at it <laughs> why are you still trying to sell this thing? i already bought it i can't buy it this again a waste of your money and my time and attention <laughs> let's show me something else that i don't want
I will say that the other day, I mean, I think to get to your point about TikTok is that just the next video is an ad and then you don't really realize it until you see sponsored and you're like, ugh, get it out of here. But I do think that um, I was reading this article about how Google or YouTube is scared about TikTok taking over video on demand more than just random. And I was like, that this is ridiculous. It'll never happen. Like if I want to watch something specific, I go to YouTube, how to you know make a souffle or how to make fried i hate eggs. where this is going i know what you're gonna say what am i gonna say you learn how to do stuff on tiktok now and you search how to bleh how to put a door in my yep. example earlier and you're gonna get a hack you know, that doesn't work no 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 i i get a very sort of quick video that tells me how to do it when Dang i it. went to youtube and did the same thing i had two 30 second unskippable ads in a row I can't believe you don't pay for YouTube at this point. It's your job. It, it, for me specifically, yeah, I probably should buy YouTube Premium or whatever. But I mean, think about the normal consumer, the regular person. They can either watch 15 seconds and get the whole story, or they can go to a watch a minute and haven't even started their learning journey. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like that, that was real bad. That's when I was like, uh-oh. Now, yeah, well, maybe we are in trouble. <laughs> the world. Yeah, and there we go. My niece doesn't need a 15-minute attention span to figure out how to put a door in because you learned it in 15 seconds on TikTok. Right. But also, we don't need doors in the future because we have airlocks. <laughs> oh, I thought about this the other day. What if I built an airlock to get into my apartment, but it doesn't do anything? It's just a separate door that you have to go through after the first door. But when the first door shuts, then there's a lot of lights and sound and it blows, you know steam mm -hmm. and you have to sit there for six seconds and then the second door opens and you can come into my place you have to go through the airlock it's amazing it'll protect against how stinky your apartment is when you're making another chia tuxedo or out. whatever <laughs> thank goodness I there's not smell -o vision i also think that's called a vestibule and a lot of bars and restaurants have that it's just another door with oh yeah a room to keep the to heat kind of out or well, the dog park has it so that the doggies don't get out. You got two yeah, gates. Exactly. I need to write this down. But I love the idea. Uh, if, and you definitely need like a light, you know? Yeah. Lights. And Flashing. an alarm and all this <laughs> junk. <laughs> Lots of buttons <laughs> to push that don't do anything. You, a you need a, yeah, you need a key button. code for sure. Or like a, yeah. a, a hand thing, but a everybody's hand. handprint work. Yeah. <laughs> It's just it's just a button that's shaped like a hand. And it like scans and it scans. It's like ding, you know. But it's it's anybody can. It's just pressure. It's not like actual uh, palm print or whatever. <laughs> but if I'm on the other side and flip a switch, it gives you a no. Yeah, so you can put your apartment on like do not disturb mode, basically. <laughs> so anyway, so you learn on TikTok now. Which is what I they saw wanted, one the other the day way. that said how to cut the sleeves off your t-shirt. I saw two of them. One was wrong. He was doing it the dead wrong way. And, so and the other was, was like, a stolen re-upload of you. <laughs> no, the other one was um, he did it right. And then I was about to like comment like thumbs up or whatever. And then somebody commented, I saw Max No Sleeves teach me this like 11 years ago. And then he, the, the guy responded. <laughs> he was like, yeah, that's where I learned. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god we got it just regurgitate lesson jokes or whatever less no i'm not even sure which one is more infuriating the guy that's just incredibly wrong or the guy that incredibly stole from you without any sort of reference or referral well but he didn't steal from me you know what i mean he learned it from me so i don't know like i, I know we're talking about i don't collective credit mrs gilmore when i used the Pythagorean theorem, because I use it every day. You know what I mean? You or, credit you know, Pythagoras, I, you dummy. <laughs> That's true. Mr. P. <laughs> or like, um, you know, like, I don't know. It's, it, it's a weird, like that, I didn't bother me at all. But like when people, I've seen people completely copy comedy videos, for example. Me, like, for obviously, example, is the worst. But yeah. I think it, you know, I've seen other people copy other that gym one do you remember i sent you that like five five different ways where somebody like walks into the gym sees an open pull-up bar jumps up grabs the pull-up bar kicks a person and says move 
And then they start doing pull-ups. I feel like I sent you like nine different versions of the same. Yeah, they're all bad. Com- comedic. Well, that's what trends are now. It's just regurgitating someone else's joke, and it's acceptable. Mm. Trends. Trends. Stupid. I'll put my spin on it, which is frame for frame the exact same thing <laughs> as what you saw. Just starring me. That's why it's my spin on it. Yeah. <laughs> I think Didn't that's... that guy argue that when he stole frame for frame your comedy thing? He was like, well, we did our own thing. We did it our own way. Yeah. He's like, I loved your idea, so I took it and made it pop. I think that's what he said. Or oh, some, yeah. Know, He's like, I, I did your of, idea better. Something sort of like a hollow, you know, like a, a meaningless statement. You know, he said a lot of words, but he didn't actually mean anything. That makes me want to stop breathing. I just realized I stopped breathing while you were describing this, and I was like, <laughs> "I think, I think that that is my big. If, if we're going to be, if I'm going to be an old man, get off my lawn. That is my huge issue with the new generation of content. Is that originality? When I was growing up, originality was king. You know, even if it wasn't as good, it was new and original. It's that novel, was, right?" novelty grabbed people and now it's familiarity now that grabs people right exactly god you know we can't make a new movie we have to make fi- fast and furious 10 you have to get it immediately yeah you have to yeah it's crazy but, but i guess that's a part shifted. of the attention that we're talking about people don't have the attention span to sit there and be like oh okay so you're oh, doing XYZ interesting. and it fits into this sort of story and i can make sense of it in this bigger block Mm-hmm. It's just like, oh, it's that trending song. They're doing that trend that I've seen, and here's their take on it. Like, Got it. You have to. You know, I get I it get it now. You don't get it yet, <laughs> idiot. <laughs> I get it now. Oh, it's Batman. I get it. <laughs> it's Batman, but he's a bat. Yeah, but he's Lego. He's Batman, but he's Legos. Did you watch I that? Don't know. Yeah, I love yeah, Lego would. Batman. I think I think Lego Batman is probably the best Batman movie there is. Period. Full stop. I'm not even joking. I am what? I, I mean, I, I guess I've only seen the. I think there's two, and I've only seen the first one. But Lego Batman one. I don't know. I, I'm pretty sure there's two. Whatever. Lego Batman is, in my opinion, the best Batman movie there is. <laughs> It is. Is it because it's the only one you can actually see? The rest of them are just black frames with some grunting. (laughs) That's how I feel about Batman. No, it's outrageously funny. It's like the the comedy is quick. The editing is incredible. The visuals are incredible. The the voice acting is amazing. The voice actors that got are incredible. Um, it's just so like high quality it's insane and when you couple that with thinking like this is appealing to a four-year-old and a 40-year-old at the same time i think that's pretty impressive you know it's yeah. like how when like when people get if mad your four-year-old at has a 40-year-old <laughs> your 40-year-old has a four-year-old brain <laughs> benjamin button yeah it's 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 like when people get mad at um like like a thor movie They're like this thor movie's stupid it's so it's like so simple and you're like, yeah, you know, it is kind of for kids, though, right? It's not exactly for 45 year old bloggers. You know what I mean? It's kind of for kids, is it? also. I thought they were creating for you. Right. Well, now they're, they're it's a little muddled. But anyway, Lego Babbage. Yeah, is like the 20 to 30. The best by far. 30 to 60 range. <laughs> <laughs> the 20 to 60 range. Yeah. I guess I don't know because they seem so dark. Like the Dark Knight, he's. That, that is not a kids not movie, for kids. you know. Yeah, but that's also why that was that's probably my favorite live action superhero movie. You know, really, you love a black I don't think, frame. I don't think you can beat the Dark Knight. It's it's just too good. It's just too high quality. They figured everything out. Like anything you like find wrong with a movie, which in my opinion is already kind of stupid. If you're like find nitpicky finding things, it's like when people are like, well, why didn't like, oh, he took a photo of him. Why didn't he just like delete the photo? I'm like, it's not really a photo. It's, it's proof of something. Okay. So like, it's also a writing device. So like, let's just move on because it doesn't really, you know, right. it's not, he, oh, he would never do that and he'd never shift gears in that type of car it's like well okay it's a movie all right that's why he did it and it's cool so who cares we're done but you know you can't really find anything wrong with 
Dark Knight. All the performances are incredible. I mean, I remember walking out of the theater and just like being like, like shaking, like what just happened? <laughs> like, wow. That was so awesome. There's all the other movies. I'm like, yeah, that was sweet. That was, that was really cool. But I should watch it again. Dark Knight, it's, it's, it's streaming HBO Max. Shout out HBO Max. I think I, I split it up over a couple nights and yeah, it didn't have the impact it did that you. Yeah, splitting it up over a couple of nights is not the same as watching it in the theater when you're. It's also like four hours. I got to pee. I'm not doing that in public. Four hours. Isn't it really long? Three. You can't go three hours without peeing? No, especially not with the coke that I'm getting from the concessions there. <laughs> the medium, like <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's like a bucket. yeah. There's a I think there's a website. I don't know if it still exists, but it was a long time ago called runp.com where you could go and they'd be like, <laughs> "This 10 minute section of the movie is the most boring, and you don't learn anything about the plot. That's when you should pee." Oh my god, that's so funny. I would need that twice in the Dark Knight. I'm well hydrated. Yeah, all two right, and a half hours. The only reason, yeah, that's a lot. Are you kidding me? I gotta open. My so we phone. started just for the record. We started at four hours, and we yeah. went down. Well, to it, three obviously that was exaggeration <laughs> for the episode. Uh, I'm I'm on camera, so I am being dramatic. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Two and a half is still a lot. <sighs> Lego Batman. Just... Watch Lego Batman. Yeah, it's good. It's really good. I just heard a glowing review about it, of course. Better than The Dark Knight. It's up there, you know? Left shaking. And, and, you know, Lego Batman's like dumb and silly, but I still liked it, you know, 95% as much as the coolest Batman movie I've ever seen, you know? So I'm like, ooh, that's pretty good, (laughs) you know? The visuals are cool. I guess I've heard that rendering a lego movie is much easier than something pixar would do because they go more realistic with it i mean once they stopped doing toys there was yeah even well, more you know. realism to it and even their toys are now stuffed animals and stuff and it's so like the lego world it's so there's less data there because they're working with legos so then they can add on more effects and make it even i more mean crazy. It, if you want to see uh, you know dark it's great lego batman's great spider-verse artistically is the best visuals i've seen yeah i think i broke seen... that up over three days why don't you I just have... break it up into tiktoks you know what i mean Ten just minutes, like yeah. have you seen we've seen those movies where it's just like scene 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 it's the whole movie yeah that, that's what you should do but they <laughs> what they did was they strive to make it so that if you paused it at any time in the movie it would look really awesome and like you can make that into a poster and put it on your wall every frame is a poster that's 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 insane. what they stri- you know that's what they were like we're striving to do that and so I think you could you I'm sure you could find a frame that's not great but they also have all of these moments where they go out of their way to make it really pretty or like wow. flat, like a like a light bulb flashes to make it look really cool or yeah that one I mean I think that's my favorite superhero movie again overall wow. and I remember watching it in the theater and I'm like blown away by it and I. I went with my dad and my sister and I look over my sister is like, just, just like, why not? I can't believe it. And I look over my dad. He's, he's like, <laughs> yeah, tough day. And then he wakes up and he's like, Who, who's that? And I'm like, uh, that, well, that's, that's Spider-Man. And he's like, Oh, who's that? And I'm like, <laughs> that's Spider-Man also. And that, I, that's kind of spider girl, but they're all kind of different versions of Spider-Man. He's like, uh-huh. Uh, I'm going to go. I'll see you at home. <laughs> and he just <laughs> left. <laughs> they talk about not having enough time. I'm like, all right, yeah, I'll see you at home. What are you going to do? Well, that's great. But, you know, and I, I'm that's literally I'm literally sitting there thinking, like, this is the best movie I've ever seen overall, period. Not animated movie, not superhero. Well, you saw movie. the beginning, so yes. Yeah, your dad did <laughs> yeah that's true that's true it's like what's going on <laughs> <laughs> that was funny. so that pausing thing uh there's this mean podcast that just is angry and jerks and i won't even mention the name but they spent a podcast just pausing podcast. my videos on my 
face and then roasting whatever face I was making while I was I'm in the middle of my video. Oh my god, that is so ignorant and it's great. Dedicated. I know. I wonder what the watch time is on your metrics from something like that. It's gotta be through the roof, right? Because they're not only watching it, they're pausing it and staying yeah. on it, you know? You see that, okay, so for anybody that doesn't know, when you're in the back end of YouTube looking at your videos, it shows you a graph of uh, how many people are sort of sticking around. And when there's a section where people are really watching a lot, there'll be a big spike in the graph. And then when people click away, like if you're reading an ad, there's a big drop in the graph. Mm. So and what you what you strive for is like to keep the, the really the strong line the whole yeah. time. And when I see a big pop, I'm like, oh, no, did I miss editing out a nipple? Like, that's, <laughs> that's exactly what I worry about. Every time. And and I go there, and it's usually like my editor didn't leave the graphic up long enough, and people are going back to read it, mm. <laughs> which is a really fun move. I mean, it's if clever. there's little Easter eggs in there to kind of pick up on something. Man, that's so, I'm sorry, that's so insulting. And, the, and the nipple thing? so stupid. No, the, them pausing your face. Oh, yeah, that. Yeah. That's absurd. I think they asserted that. Um, I don't know, like subconsciously, if you're miserable and, you know, suicidal or something, then you can pause the video at any time and and see see it on your face or whatever and you don't see it in real time but then when you pause the video you're like look at that she hates what she's doing and she under she knows that she's cringy <laughs> and i'm like well based on your theory yeah this <sighs> I, this checks out i look very like uh, unhappy let's run the numbers <laughs> each frame yep unhappy you know that's so ridiculous <laughs> yeah <sighs> That's a weird Okay, one. I think we should pivot on this episode because we are going to talk about gyms. But I think we should say You're right. attention span. Training how montages. Is, how is that? <laughs> how is it attention span affecting working out these days? I will open with Brian Borstein changes his program nonstop. Ugh. I am someone who will do. I did the exact same program for a full year before I was like, okay, I think I got the hang of this. My body now needs a change. Mm hmm. And he'll do four weeks of something that keeps increasing and then deload. Mm. And then four weeks again, deload, and then completely different stuff. I know, and now insane. is this because they're just trying to sell new programs and always have a cycle to be to, to market? And then this is just again a problem of the phone. Or I, do I, people unlike that me is have no tension span? That is exactly what, what what you just said, the sell new program thing. That to me is Red flag, flag number one, or or box number one that I would be interested in investigating. Is this, do I need something new? Or are you just Muscle selling confusion. me on, yeah. oh, you haven't been doing this? <laughs> well, that's going to unlock your true potential, you know, whatever. Right. Like, And it, I've fallen for it. I've sold it. I bought it. You know what I mean? Like, I used to think it was a big deal. I... I you know, I think I've I've it's only gotten worse with the phone. I think you're absolutely right, but that would be my first thing. So, is this necessary or is this a sales marketing tactic, right? And that's that's what everybody does. I mean, that's Constantly I see that on TikTok workout. all the time. Oh, and you have to stay you, subscribed you, to what they're giving you because you can't do it again. Right, it'll never be exactly like this again. You're you're gonna miss the the one wave or the cycle that you need. Yeah, or the, when we you know, when we really give you ads, this is the, the one. Real, yeah, exactly. <laughs> yes, it's like those. I've been doing. Um, I told you I was doing F forty five. All these hit training classes, and they're exactly the same, but they're in, in terms of format and we're ex exercises that you're doing but they're, they're the each workout is completely different oh uh, instead of which is like split squats you're doing reverse lunges or instead of like step ups on a chair you're doing um one leg planks or you know what i mean like muscle is it because wise you're doing the same get thing. bored easily and they want that constant change they go to the gym and what is it today not 
okay, again, you know it's squats. You're going to put all of your energy and focus on doing a squat well and not and instead you go in and you waste all this men- mental energy figuring out what the workout is and and digesting it and trying to know how much energy to put in to make it through the end. Yeah. And how well, I think I, I think we're super, super prone to, oh, I need to change. This is boring. I need something. Oh, this is interesting. What's it? Oh, I, I learn it and I do it at the same time. We, it's the world. Everyone not, but me. And yeah, and and me. I've now committed to with the same exact thing. I mean, I... Committing. I, you committed to committing. Committed. Yeah, exactly. But then also, on, on the other hand, I would wonder how long do you... I think you overcommit to Correct. things. The same breakfast is a really good example, especially when you figured out that it might not be the, good, the best breakfast for you. Especially when it gave me high cholesterol. But, you know, I, I think that before, I guess, I don't know. I mean, part of your part of your analysis of a new program or whatever would be like, okay, I'll try this. And I also have to commit. I'm going to commit to the same thing over and over again. I'm not going to get like crave change yeah. or premature you know, novel, whatever. Like I don't need something new prematurely, but also I need to know how much longer I'm going to commit to this. So in a real perfect world, how long do you think you commit to the same workout? Because right. if it's Borstein, and it's four, what'd you say? Four, four weeks. That's weeks? it. And, that yeah. and then, they, or then you deload. I do think I should deload more, but uh, not, not not just on that larger scale, how long I'm going to commit to workout, but how long am I going to commit to really pushing on this kettlebell swing before I move over to the reverse chair lunges that you were talking about, you know, and how much energy do I need to put through? How hard can I go? I don't know because I've never done this workout. That's what, that's the reason I'm not yeah. doing CrossFit right now. One of the main reasons is that it's a new workout. I don't know metabolically what they're trying to stimulate, whether it's my or muscular or strength cardio cardio how fast yeah. i can do something how how powerfully i can do something and certainly it's written in a way that will stimulate one of those things more than the other but i don't know what i'm getting into and so you just do it and yeah and i if you do know what's coming you can optimize better and really push yourself yeah i would argue that that's that is the best argument you can make the crossfit is a real sport because they just give you the workout right there. Then you yeah. have to figure out how to the mental aspect allocate your energy, essentially. Yeah, and that's what I think and- Frazier was really good at, and that's what I think. Um, like you, you can't just go. I mean, you can on some of them, and, and that's kind of cool too if they write it that way. But on most of them, you're like, okay, I'll, I'll probably die on this, but I can make it up on that, or I know I can kill everybody on this, and so I'll really push there. But then I got to save some energy for, you know what I mean? I can't d- right. gas out and I have to, you know, so that I think and is I'm... an interesting strategy. Strategy. <laughs> my God, Bush, George W. Bush. Um, Yeah. And that's a fault of my own abilities too, right? Someone like Matt Fraser could mm-hmm. look at a workout and be like, oh, this is a sprint and I'll just yes. go as hard as I can. Or, right. oh, this is a quad burner, and I should save them on the burpees and catch myself instead of using my legs so I can have those quads for later. Right. You know, that kind of thing. And 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 a good gym owner will be like, if you're scaling this, don't go too heavy here because it's supposed to be a sprint. You know, it's not supposed to challenge you on the lifting. It should right. be easy. You Like, you should do these these 15 uh, snatches in in Unbroken. And then you're like, right. oh, okay. So then I shouldn't be at 95 pounds because I got to do them all at once. But you know, not every gym is like that, and has a, has a programmer that that's that's that good. Right. And then what is your goal? Your goal is to win that event. Sure. Yeah. Well, if you're in the games or whatever, great. But if your goal is to work out, <laughs> you know, I, I guess your goal could be figure out how to allocate energy or whatever strategy you want to improve employ on things like that. Be more aware of things, be more aware that like, Oh, okay. okay, That many burpees is going to kill me. I'll break them up this way. Or, Oh man, I can smoke that those pull-ups or whatever. Like let's, you know, but other than that, I mean, I don't, it's an interesting, it's, it's more of, that makes it more of a game than, the sport of working out. <laughs> right. You know I mean? No, I agree. There's strategy to it. 
But when I'm, I guess when I'm working but, but out, you I now, want to know. Yeah. I don't want to be want to, challenged yeah. mentally on how to get through it in the most like smart way possible. I want to know that I'm doing it the most intelligent way possible and, yeah. and take that decision making out of it. Right. When I go in and do squats, I know what's coming at me and how hard I need to push. And that's all, all of my bucket of energy goes into that. Yeah. Now, when I go to F45, part of my bucket of energy goes into, okay, this next and this next and how yeah. hard am I going here? And then I'm on set what is 15 a of 37. Yeah. yeah, exactly. I will say that in, in practice for every organized athletic team I've been on, the coach would like yell at us like, you got to go all out on this one. And I'd be like, yeah. no, I don't. I'm going to do whatever I want to do because I don't trust you. You know, yeah. if I trusted that you were watching me so closely that you would, you could tell when I was out of energy and then we'd be done. And then you'd say, okay, you're out of energy, go home, you're done. Then, yeah, I'll go all out. Not, you know, and I, and I have had coaches, one on one coaches where I do that and it works incredibly well. But when the coach is like, you got to go all out. And I'm like, yeah, how many um, rounds do we have left? And he's like, yeah, up to me. And I'm like, okay, well, I'm going to jog, my man. Like, I'm not, you know, that's, <laughs> I can't trust you to gauge my energy if you're not even looking. You know what I mean? So right. it's, it's a weird, it's a weird, I don't know if it's a trust thing or a team building thing or whatever, but it's, it's a, it's a concern and you do have to think about it. And yeah, if we're doing F45, I'm not always sprinting on my first set of 40 sets, you know? Right. I'm kind of like, all right, well, I'm about half tired and I'm about halfway through the thing. I can pick it up a little or, wow, we're already halfway through. I, mean, I haven't even broken a sweat yet. I better just kill the know, second that's half of this yeah. thing, you know? Yes, totally. Yeah. Do you think these workouts now came about and are so ubiquitous because of our shortening attention spans because everyone just craves novelty now i think it certainly falls into that paradigm for sure uh because it is it's an entire workout for those for anybody that hasn't taken one it's you know it's an entire workout of you know let minute or less working sets work for a minute or less rest for 30 seconds or less usually it's about 45 seconds of work 15 seconds of rest 25 stations stop 20 do it do it all again 25 stations you're done you're out and so then each each station is its own each sometimes there's like pods where if you go th around three times then you go to the second pod of three times and blah 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 and sometimes it's just 45 different stations and it's a nightmare and you know it's a mess but I think I have talked to people who have gone to classes like that and they're like, yeah, you know what? Honestly, my favorite part is I just show up. I don't have to think about anything. I don't have to do, like set anything up. Yeah. I just put some shorts on or whatever. And that, that, that hot guy yells at me and tells me what to do, yeah. <laughs> you know? And I'm, that, yeah. They're talking about that bucket of energy. So for them, that's easier. And I think, mental energy also mental what is it the decision making decision fatigue well physical what is that and called? mental they're all from the same finite amount of energy that's the bucket that i'm talking about i keep referencing that like you know what i'm saying you <laughs> how many buckets you got one bucket all the energy to <laughs> to decide what you're having for breakfast to do uh, a squat how many, how many ladles do you have be empathetic <laughs> towards your annoying podcast co-host that's all uh, one bucket <laughs> Uh, and ladle. Ugh. So I don't know. That's I, what I'm saying. I, the I, mental energy to to understand at 45. I'm, I'm going to use that to squat instead. But right. I get where they're coming from. They're like, I don't need to figure out a gym and feel stupid in Planet Fitness. Yeah, because you don't know what to do and you're dilly dallying. Right. And, oh, someone's someone. Everyone's going to look at me while I'm on the yeah. leg press machine or whatever. And I'm like, probably. What like really? This. I'm like, no, they're looking at themselves in their camera screens. <laughs> yeah, they're looking at their viewfinder of the film, the video that they're filming of themselves lifting yeah. for TikTok. Especially in LA, I'm like, wow, I'm invisible. I'll walk down the street in a cow suit because it's for a music video or whatever. I know. Not a head turned. To uh, just another Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my udders fell off. Whatever. <laughs> Gotta get some stronger udders. Yeah. I don't know. I... Do you think it's harmful to 
people's progress to be that muscle confusion and and novel. Absolutely. I think really. that it has now completely changed from like doing the same movement over and over and over again will change your body in a certain yeah. in a way that for sure no matter what you do you know look at guys who you know have to throw hay around their whole lives they're enormous you know why do that why are they start throwing hay you know what i mean progressive like, overload yeah guys and who you can't progressive overload if you keep changing things right and you don't keep Ugh. track of it and also a lot of those hit classes they're not strength classes you know sure. and you're certainly not keeping track of oh i did 47 squat jumps last time i'll try I to get 48 you, though, this time you're like oh god this is boring every chick i know that is obsessed with that 45 tells me she lifts hot oh tells you she lifts wow they think they're lifting interesting they go there and they oh, they oh i'm their... sorry they refer to f45 as lifting yes or they lift in addition to F45. No, no, no. They they I lift, refer to, meaning... they say they lift and meanwhile they're going to F45. Right. Which is I mean I, if I'm going to say between lifting and elliptical or I mean F45 and elliptical, F45 and running around LA, the F45 girl is a lifter. Definitely. They're picking up str heavy things, they're doing athletic moves. There's they What are... about dudes? Do you think dudes claim that they lift when they go to F45? I think they say they work out. Yeah, yeah, it's a I male work out female a thing. Bit. Okay. I don't know. We're also polling the men, the group of people that we've picks created in our minds. <laughs> more than two pounds, a three pounder, they uh -huh. lift. Yeah, I mean, I think if you pick up a kettlebell, you lift. You know what I mean? If, if no, if you, you claim anything... you lift. <laughs> I know plenty of people that have picked up kettlebells, and I'm like, no, thank you, Clifton Harsky. Oh my god. Yeah, he doesn't lift. He dances. He like I athletic know. dances. That was sarcasm, by the way. This guy <laughs> is most definitely a lifter. He, from our past episode with He's him. like he's like if you were doing he does like ballet if you were underwater, under in, in Mercury. If you were in yeah. if you could if you didn't have to breathe and you were had to do athletic movements, but in Mercury, that's what he does. We're on Mercury. Is that a big planet? Jupiter. On Jupiter, Jupiter, so you're really heavy. Jupiter Ballet. Yeah. God, he's I'm writing incredible. that down. He's so strong. <laughs> uh, but I don't okay, think so F45, could... I, I don't know. It's, it is a, it's, it's a weird, it's the same exact, it's, I don't want to think I just want to just go there and turn my brain off. And at the same time, I also want to be confused every minute. You know what I mean? Yeah. Doesn't that seem like How a weird sort that? of contradictory yes. thing? Yes, but it certainly fits exactly what these phones are doing to our brain. It makes perfect sense to me. Yeah, I guess it's and like I think I want to watch TikToks. I don't care what they are. I just right. need a new need something. New, no, no, no. Give it to me. Feed it to me. But right. make it different every time. Wow. I don't want to think. I just want constant stimuli. Don't think, just do. So this was the qualm I had with ClassPass when it came about a long time ago, a long time ago, you know, very recently, actually. And the Dozens people of would go do months ago. Yeah. One day at SoulCycle, one day of yoga, one day of F45. Yeah. And even that, I'm like, if you go to F45 consistently, I respect that way more than if you're class passing all around and your body never gets a chance to adapt because you're never giving it a consistent stimulus. Yeah, if that's your goal. If your goal is to try a bunch of new classes, then of course. If your goal is to not really get fit but be entertained, then I guess. Yeah, yeah. your fitness, you're physically entertained. <laughs> or to meet a bunch of hotties. Where do you think the hottest people go? F45, oh. Soul Cycle, Orange Soul Theory, Cycle, Berries, Training Mate. Surprisingly mate, dark for hot people. You would think it'd be everything actually is dark. Mm -hmm. All these places are like clubs. Soul Cycle started it. They're like, we no, turn the lights they... down and, and we you know, crank up the music. <laughs> and we blast mashups. You never heard a mashup like this one. <laughs> Mozart and Rihanna. <laughs> and you're like, whoa, I love this. What is this? You know? But no one can see you loving it. <laughs> Kim has lit candles before. You ever been to one of Kim's classes where she'll, she lights candles? No, a, that's incredible. The whole thing is the length of the can the, the candle, the length of the class. Yeah, right. 
Some we're climbing this hill till it gets to the bottom. Oh and then you God. unleashed your soul and, and reconnected with your ancestors and whatever. Uh, <laughs> dealt I'll with that it. thing that's been bothering you since your childhood. I'll believe it. Whatever Kim Nassau mm-hmm. tells me to do, I'll probably just do fitness wise, emotionally too, mentally. Yeah, anything. Flat out. <laughs> <sighs> Well, and all that being said, obviously, doing class pass is way better than sitting on your couch, which I'm currently yes. doing. And and anybody that consistently does F45, I'm like, yes, I respect that you're working out. But and man, difference... I just want you to optimize. You know, it doesn't feel optimized. I feel like you could do it do it better. But, but if I it's wonder too, F45 because... or nothing, good job. Yeah, definitely go to class. F45 is an awesome workout. We've both done it a bunch of times, or I've done it a bunch of times. You did it once on a. Uh... On a jungle gym, which was probably the most exciting I've ever yeah. seen. And I think that air quotes, muscle confusion, this is a new workout. You know, if I do an air squat or if I do a lunge or if I do a squat holding a ball, medicine ball, or, or if I ball. do a wall, you know what I mean? A lot of that stuff overlaps a lot, you know? And so I wonder mm-hmm. if it's not muscle confusion it's person confusion so we're we're tricking you into doing the same ish movement but now you do it and you have to throw this ball on the thing and now you do it and you have to you know jump off of a a a box jump or or jump onto a box even though it's the same type of it's the same movement but you're doing it a different way i wonder if that's for your tiktok brain yeah right but i also don't think Sometimes the programming is really not there. Like as much as I'm giving people these classes credit for like working that out, like sophisticated way of doing it. Like there's there's rounds where they're like, all right, so just jump for 45 seconds. All right, and go. And you're like, no, dude, no. My <laughs> my knees will explode right after my brain explodes. You know, like that is not <laughs> viable. Just way to think of a cool workout, but that's stupid, you know. So right. you have to sort of objectively take a look at it i think and you hope that whoever's writing these workouts are kind of balancing rest and recovery too but who knows they might have you you know bench pressing one day and then the next day push-ups and then the next day yeah. overhead press and it, and then they're just frying your shoulders and you never actually see any progress right or they have the sled or the, we have the uh the ski erg so we always do yeah. ski ergs because we have the equipment and we kind of have to use it and it looks really cool or you know we got the battle ropes got to do that every day you know but yeah it's it's definitely a, it's a mix of marketing and entertainment and i mean whatever good people in the door, I, guess. I guess that's that's a positive thing i, think I will that- say the person confusion of crossfit is really helpful for me uh especially these past open workouts because it's been broken up you know and there are five different halfways throughout 15 minutes. <laughs> so I'm halfway through the pull-ups. Awesome. And I find myself in in the video. I'll be making, not even realize I'm making this running theme. I'm like, oh, awesome. Halfway through these wall balls. I'm halfway through the workout. I'm halfway yeah. through the bike ride. And then you realize that you've pushed harder because... You're almost done. Oh, thank goodness I'm onto the push-ups. I'm like, I can't wait to be done with these push-ups so I get to do pull-ups. And I'm like, yes, halfway through the pull-ups. I can't wait to be off of these. Oh, what a relief. Burpees. I <laughs> you know? know. And you're thank constantly... Thank God I got here. Yeah. Even going back and forth from, what was it, burpee pull-ups and shuttle runs. Like, every... I... I'd finish the burpee pull-ups and be like, man, do I love shuttle runs. And then I finished almost done with the shuttle runs. We're like, thank God I get back, get to go back to the burpees. Well, I wonder if it's... Because in between the exercises is a break. And the beginning of the exercise is obviously you feel better than the end. You know, you have a little bit more energy. So I wonder if what you're looking forward to is the sort of, I mean, this is what we used to do with our big bad fitness exercises, but you'd, you'd kill the workout. So you had more time to like rest in between the next set. Or yes. Whatever. That's sometimes that's a, a type of workout. You're right. Where you rest like an imam, right? Do 30 yeah. push-ups and then the next minute, 30 more push-ups. And if you finish faster, you get to rest longer. Yeah. And it totally. feels like you're resting more, even though you probably expended more energy to bust out the 30 push-ups faster. Yeah. Have I ever said to you, if you round up, we're done? 
I feel like I said oh. that all the time. Like, man, we're almost done with this one. And then, and then, you know, that's we're all, and then if you round up, we're done with this set. And then we're yeah. on the second set of three sets. So then if you round up, we're done. We can go home. You know, like I remember <laughs> like that was my running joke in college and everyone yeah. hated it. <laughs> but if I just sure continually almost through. finished with the workout. Yeah. I mean, I'm, we're basically almost done, you know? And yeah. If, the only problem is you'd have to start. You couldn't say that until like halfway through right. the first one. <laughs> yeah. I mean, but, we're only done with the first set, but this is the hardest set, obviously. So then after this, we're, we're golden. You know what I mean? We're, we're tough. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I can see why your classmates loved you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> they did, kind of. Not really. <laughs> but yeah, it kind of is like that with what she said. Like, I'm almost done with the pull ups. Good, done. Nope, now you're not doing anything. Yeah. So and, and, well, maybe that's it. The new one seems easier. Or does mm -hmm. the new one seem totally. easier? Yes, you're you're so pumped to do sprints because you got off of the thing that sucked before it, even though you did sprints right before the other sucky <laughs> thing. <laughs> yeah, but that was the hard set. This is the <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, and I'm always looking for the rest in the workout too. I'm like, oh wow, the double unders of the rest in this one. Yikes. <laughs> I know the plank is the rest. That was, that's usually my favorite. Yeah. And then when a plank gets hard, that's when you're like, oh boy. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> yeah, but we're almost done. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I'm almost dead. So anyway, if you round up, uh, I'm, almost I'm done dead. with this work. Yeah. I'm done with my lifetime. <laughs> All right. Well, let us know in the comments if you are doing these type of hit workouts, if we're idiots for bashing them. And simultaneously Not bashing them. them, we're just saying oh, no. like take a take an could objective look at them, and yeah, and I think I better? should be doing f forty five once a week at least. I think I'll you should that. too. I think your lungs are something that like even if you work out heavy, you're like oh, my lungs are great, and then you do a long workout, and you're like, <laughs> oh boy, <laughs> right, <laughs> like that that Absolutely. moves pretty quickly. But having that be your only thing in every day of the week too, correct. If you're doing Not a 45 correct. and going really hard three days a week, I feel like total body three days a week is smart. But there are mm -hmm. people that are doing it every day. So who knows? Anyway, all I'm saying is there could be a smarter way to do stuff. Yeah. That's pretty, what we're yeah. saying about it, I think. Definitely. But let us know if you think that perhaps we're wrong about the programming or perhaps that, you know, there is a way to balance this and do hit training and be effective and make gains and have progressive yeah. overload. Or have you guys noticed anything, any of the stuff that we're talking about? Or are we just like over hypercritical, hyper yeah. <laughs> over analyzing this? We're is anyone probably... squatting anymore? Or is it just me and Max being meatheads <laughs> in the gym and everyone else is doing Mercury Ballet? <laughs> Mercury Ballet sounds like a TV show. Yeah. I'm writing it down. <laughs> All right, and if you can rate and review on Apple Podcasts, Wait, that uh, helps us out a whole lot. Where Where are you about to go? Right now? Yeah. <gasps> wow, that was so close. So close. We're cutting this episode a little short because I have to go pick up my mom from the airport. We got the reference in <gasps> at the buzzer. <laughs> well done, sir. Man, I'm glad you're on it. I missed it. That would have, that would have messed up our streak. We would have had to start over. <laughs> Uh, uh, welcome to photal titheads <laughs> new podcast fresh start mally and wax wait a minute <laughs> all right we'll see you next week <laughs>